Hi, I'm Kim Soon from KAIS. I'm going to be presenting a paper, GenQuery Supporting Expressive Visual Search with Genitive Models. This work was done with my wonderful collaborators, Dan Che, Tess Kim, Yongwoo Kim, and Joe Kim. Specifically, this work was done in collaboration between KAIST and Neighbor AI. This paper is related to a system that supports image exploration in the early stage of the design process. Typically, in this process, designers create queries related to the design they are looking for and view relevant search results. With the generative models, graphic designers can now directly generate the image without exploring or searching for references. However, since the generation cost cannot be ignored, the fully generation-based visual search process could be inefficient. In this background, our research team pondered on how the generative models could aid in expressing the designer's image search intents in this process instead of directly generating their output. More specifically, we tried to design new interactions to facilitate this expression during the visual search process. Through this, we explored how the discover search result differed and ultimately how the visual search process might change through this new generative model-based interaction. Now, I will explain the research in detail, starting from the research background. It is important to explore various design ideas through the visual search process in the early stage of design. The purpose includes gaining inspiration, avoiding, avoiding being fixated on a single design by exposing oneself to diverse designs, and ultimately determine, determining which design is actually good by seeing and evaluating them in practice. Typically, there are two common methods for visual search, searching for the desired design through a text query, or finding similar images through image queries. Most people are already fam familiar with many well-known tools that support this process such as Pinterest, Dribbble, Behance, and of course Google Image Search. For a more detailed explanation, let's delve into the in interactions related to, to the visual search within Pinterest. When searching with a text query, users input the query into the search bar and view the search result. Additionally, users can further engage in image-based search by clicking on images. Of course, users can initiate image-based searches by clicking on image directly. To closely observe the search patterns of designers and the challenges that arise during the visual search process, we conducted a formative study with eight designers. We observed the initial ideation process in Pinterest through think aloud studies, prompting them to explain their search intent, actions, and encounter difficulties. As a result, we found that designers typically start their search with abstract text queries, then explore related images through image-based search after finding the desired image to some extent. From the middle stage onwards, they tend to explore designs slightly different from those they initially thought. However, several issues arose at each stage. Firstly, the abstract nature of text queries often left many aspects of the desired design area unclear, making designers refine their queries to define their initial search area repeatedly. Secondly, even when designers found a somewhat suitable query, they struggled to locate the desired images within the search result. They felt that some images were partially satisfactory but required modification for a precise image-based search. Lastly, after some image searching, designers expressed the direction of the new images they wanted to find using abstract expressions. For example, they might say something like, I want to find designs where objects are depicted more artistically. However, current text and image-based search searches have limitations in accurately reflecting such intent. To support these problems, we need to concretize the designer's baked text query, select certain areas, and modify the image. In this situation, we utilize LLM, an object segmentation model called SAM, and diffusion models to generate a new intent expression interaction in the visual search process. We define three system design goals. 
Firstly, the system should provide direction for refining abstract queries during the initial text query search process. Second, it enables image-based search to be more aligned with the user's intent by allowing modif modification of parts of images with reference to the other images. Lastly, it should allow the modification of part of an image using word expressions when searching for various images. All these interactions utilized LLM, Deficient, and SAM. As a result, we de developed a system called GenQuery. This is GenQuery's interface. Designers can save desired images with both text and images. The interface is similar to Pinterest, but the key difference is on the left side, which is a button that allows users to modify image for images for search. The three design goals mentioned earlier, concretizing the user's big text queries with the expected search result and allowing modification of image areas with other images, or natural language expressions have been implemented in GenQuery. Let's take a closer look at each of them through demo videos. When, user, when the users try to input a big text query, the system makes the user's text query into five concretized query in terms of design elements such as color, shape, or style. Also, the system shows the expected search result. When the user has an image in mind, but the visible query is slightly different from it, the GenQuery helps the user modify the image to another image. In this case, the user utilized the saved image before. Finally, when the user wants to find new images that are slightly different from the images the user has been looking for so far, but doesn't know how they will be expressed in detail, the user can modify the image with abstract text keyword and search for it. To demonstrate the effectiveness of GenQuery's interactions, we conducted a user study involving 16 designers. The baseline system was similar to Pinterest, and the assigned task involved design ideation tasks with a visual exploration process. Here are the results of our study. First, we observed that GenQuery allows the designers to express their search intent more freely and accurately. Designers also stated that GenQuery could help them find more creative design ideas, as evident in the Creativity Support Index wizard. There are differences between the two conditions re related to the search behavior patterns. When using GenQuery, designers perform fewer actions than the baseline. In particular, there are significantly fewer actions such as text-based search and clicking the Show More button which provides more search result. T represents text query-based search, and I represents image, image query-based search. Designers predominantly perform the I-I pattern, where the, they conducted an image-based search followed by another image-based search, while other search patterns were notably less frequent compared to the baseline. Furthermore, we frequently observe patterns in GenQuery where designers modify image queries, perform image-based searches using that query, and sub subsequently save the designs they found, find. We define the action of searching for images using modified queries as search by generation. The image showcases sequence of example where designers modify image, search, and save images in GenQuery. Participants, as you can see in this slide, participants conducted a lot of search by generation in the study. 
However, there were cases in the study where the user experience was compromised due to inaccurate generation by the generative models. Particularly, when designers had a specific goal in mind for modification or when detailed modifications were required, designers became engrossed in the generation process, which prevented them from proceeding to the search by generation action. Another interesting observation was that the segmentation-based image modification and search process encouraged designers to experiment with various layouts. For example, one participant searched for basic shapes to use as the background of their layout, modified images accordingly, and found the desired search result. In future research, we are considering providing more diverse suggestions such as suggesting modification areas rather than just modification keywords, based on specific behavioral patterns such as which areas users modify when editing images and how many times they save the modified images. Additionally, we aim to support the expression of the designer intent not only in the visual search process but also in other design process. This might involve analyzing patterns in designer sketch note and design modification process to interpret the intent and provide a wider range of suggestions through generative models.